How's it going lads? Marshall here, welcome yourselves back to another review on the channel. Today we've got another heroes, it is Alexander Mostovoy. We've got the Russian man from the Liga. Just La Liga. I don't know if it's called Liga Santander, Liga BBVA, no idea whatsoever. It's a Spanish league, got Mostovoy. And lads, he's got a five star week with some amazing stats and he looks brilliant. So we're going to review him for you guys today. So if you do enjoy, you know what to do. You bring that type of smash a like, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new around here. And most importantly, in the comment section below, who do you want to review next? We do have Alexander Mostovoy today and he looks brilliant. He generally looks class. I mean, you see the five-star weak fast, you see the four-star skills, you see the high to medium work rates, and then you would have seen them in the team and thought, hey, where, where are you actually playing this guy? Uh, we were actually rocking a 4-5-1 formation with him at centre midfield with a get-forward instruction on him. And my God, just wait till you see the highlights. What we got out of this card was nothing short of brilliance. Nothing short of brilliance. Now, you look at his stats, you think pace-wise, is that enough? Yes and no. For the top speed, I don't think it is enough. Acceleration's not too, too bad. Stick like an engine, punter, as we're actually using it today on the cards. It isn't even that bad. It's not too, too bad in game. Of course, it's like a side of caution. If you want like a super fast attack in midfield, you're going to play him wide or anything like that. Then you probably do want a little bit more pace. But right now for the central kind of zones, it's not that bad whatsoever. He's got... I'd say average pace. Average pace is good on this game. His shooting stats, they look average. 82 finishing, 82 shot power, 87 long shots. Just wait till you see the goals at the score with this man. Uh, his passing is cracked, and I say that because it is generally cracked. I mean, his passing stats are one of the players I've used so far with the best passing stats. He's got good vision, 87. He's got 89 free kicks. Short pass, the exact same. Crossing, 82. Long pass, 84. And Cave, also 84. When it does come down to dribbling, he lacks the balance. It was only 78. Everything else, he's got that in abundance. 86 agility, 83 reactions, 88 ball control, 90 dribbling, and 84 composure. Now, the thing is, you look at the defending category and think, tackling, he's not going to do that. He's got the aggression to win the ball back. When it comes down to player traits, he's got leadership and he does have flair, which is brilliant because he does have four-star skills. But the thing is, he's got a five-star weak foot as well. If you even make like an inch of room in the penalty box, bang it. Honestly, he's got such a good strike on this game. I remember it's Celta Vigo. Uh, well, well, it says RC Celta there. But I do remember it's Celta Vigo. Um... Was that's for Champions League qualification? Uh, so um, yeah, I think that's that's a club where he's. Oh yeah, it's actually based off this uh, Celta Vigo. Eight years, mate. Kind of. I think I can actually remember him when he did play Mostovoy, but uh, he's one of those that if you're like born from like I don't know 95 plus, you'll not remember this guy. But uh, I was born 89. Marshall 89. You, you get what I'm saying? He's, he was actually a brilliant footballer back in the day. But lads, we're going to see if he's brilliant on FIFA 22. So, let's get into the gameplay. So here we go then, lads. In to the gameplay. Now, what we're going to see from Mustavoy is the creation he can do, the flareful touches. You've seen that flick over the challenge that was in, well, incoming, basically. And I just flicked over the shoulder, stayed in control, and it was just always in control, you know what I'm saying? With Mustavoy in this game, he provides. And he provides not only for... I don't know, your, your team players, whether it be uh, Morien says you've seen assist just before, or whether it be just a total package for your team, because this card, uh, he's brilliant, he's brilliant. How about this for a strike, by the way? That's effortless, that is effortless. Now, it's not an overpowered finesse, it's not a green sign shot. That is just a pure blast from the past into the future, uh, with a sensational strike over the top of the keeper. The keeper didn't know what world he was in uh, when uh, that was floating over the top of his head. And uh, that is what Mustavoy is capable of. That was the first game, and I thought, you know what, this card could definitely be fun. I looked at the card beforehand and thought, hey, four-star skills, five-star weak parts, very well-rounded stats. This card could be the one to watch from the heroes. And... Um, I think I was right. I generally think I was right. Lovely finesse there on his left foot, which is his weak foot, but it's a five-star weak foot. It doesn't matter uh, what foot he is. He could be left, he could be right, he could be up, he could be down. It doesn't matter what foot you've got in this game. If you've got a five-star weak foot, it's golden. You know what I'm saying? It is golden. And uh, he can play shots, he can play passes, he can do what he wants, this muster boy. Look at that, well-weighted passes into uh, uh, Fernando Morientes. He gets the ball back, good fake shot, a nice little turn there. And uh, that's a great save by the goalkeeper on the low driven. We actually do get the rebound with Ricken. Any Dortmund fans? You want to see a Ricken review? Make sure you let me know in the comments. As we let fly with another strike, that wasn't even a finesse. Uh, it's just got a pure strike on this game. So straight away, you look at the pros, you see the dribbling, you see the shooting. The shooting for me, was bonkers with Mostovoy. If you're any like region outside the box from like 30 yards inwards, 
you can take a strike. You can take a strike and it will most likely test the goalkeeper uh, if you do it right, because you've seen on the first strike was brilliant, you've seen on the left foot finesse, and you'll see more and more throughout this review. Uh, uh, left foot first time, good save by the keeper, and he does score a blast with his right foot as well, just uh, that should be coming up very, very soon actually, as we do get the ball in Morientes, we actually play this across eventually with the cross, and uh, head up back of the net, so again, movements, Keep that in mind, sensational. High medium work gets good at second position. He gets into the right kind of zones on the pitch to be effective. So you look at the pose then. I, I did have dribbling in there because it's brilliant. It's generally brilliant. If you want to take someone on in this game, it can always be kind of difficult every now and then to take someone on. Not when most of it kind of comes very easily as so we lay that off. First time strike back of the net with he's shooting, which is the second pro which we've talked about. Passing. You see a pass in this game, you're on the ball with Mostavoy, play the pass mate, it's going to make its destination. He is like a walking sat-nav. Basically, if there's a Russian brand of sat-nav, it would be called a Mostavoy. Unless it's already been made, it's called something else. But Mostavoy would be a brilliant name for a sat-nav because this guy just gets you to the destination. You see a pass, he makes the pass. Uh, Five-star weak foot is sensational because not only does it give him the... The kind of chance to do what he wants, uh, shoot with his left, shoot with his right, pass with the left, pass with the right. It also gives him that kind of advantage to uh, kind of keep your opponent guessing. Am I going to go left? Am I going to go right? You don't know because I've got a five-star week, but I don't know at this current stage in time. So it's very, very nice. And like I was saying, he's got a pure strike on him. Look at this, boys. That's just sheer power into the back of the net. The only kind of downside with this card is top speed. And I know what you're saying. Is the defending, even the tackling stuff, uh, Kind of a, a negative with this card. Seeing as he is a can, but you can also play him centre midfielder. Why is that if he's got 58 stand tackle? It's his aggression. He actually does tackle quite a bit, and he does get involved a hell of a lot. Whether that be with uh, his movements, whether that be with his passing, but uh, his aggression really does help him in certain scenarios. Now, we do have similar plays. We've switched the screen, as you can see right there. Uh, Sabitzer. I think if you do play him centre mid, he's got a strike like a Sabitzer. He plays like a Sabitzer as a centre mid. But if you're going to play him more advanced into a cam role, you've got to look at the more, I don't know, Bruno Fernandes, Kevin De Bruyne. I think he's more similar to a KDB. But um, he's quite similar to Bruno Fernandes in the aspect of shooting and even the passing. It's just a five-star we put with KDB. I'd probably liken him to the most. I think he's most likely... Uh, uh, a KDB type character, you know what I'm saying? He's very, very similar in that aspect. Overall, this card was brilliant. Um, I thought he would be good, so you can see the rating right there. It's 9.0 for myself. Um, for a starter hero, this is utterly brilliant. And uh, the thing is, like with, with these heroes, boys, uh, I know it says 86 rated. You stick a basic on him, which he does come out. He's a 90 rated can. He's not an 86 rated card. So again, if you're looking at like, I don't know the base of it, and you're thinking, it's just an 86 rated card, it can never be worth kind of this value or that rating or anything like that. Just keep in mind, even with a basic, if you buy him off the market with a basic, you pack him out of a pack or anything like that, uh, he comes out with a basic, he's in effect in 90 rated cards. He's not an 86, boys, he's not an 86. So uh, just take that rating with a pinch of salt, it doesn't mean like the be all and end all, it is literally just a rating. But boy, oh boy, does this guy perform on the field. And it's just fantastic at times. So that brings me to the overall rating for his value for coins. Uh, I'm going to give him a 7.6. I think that's quite fair. Even at his price right now, 230 on uh, the PlayStation, 240 on the Xbox. It's not even too bad. The thing is, like, within that division right now, do you have many overpowered players? You can actually link him to a lot of different players. you got Inform Vinicius. You can link him... Uh, uh, you've got to remember, with these heroes, they get soft linked into every other hero and uh, stuff like that. But they also get strong links into any player within that league. It could be, I don't know, a Brazilian left back. Strong link into any player within the division of the Liga. I, mean, I want to say Santander. Is it Liga Santander these days? I've got no... Oh, I think it actually is. I guess any like strong link into any player within that division. And you need to kind of take that in consideration. The more we get... And no more better cards from that league this year, more feasible cards, more kind of OP cards. You can link them to each and every single Liga Santander player on, well, this game in general. And uh, get a strong link and get him into your team. And uh, I definitely recommend him, man. He's a fantastic player. He does bring the element of fun, which we're going to get onto right now. Enjoyment written for myself will be an 8.8. .8. Why is that? He's a fun player, man. He actually brings you different dimensions to what... Certain attacking midfielders I've used on this game so far. Uh, the five-star weak foot brings that extra dimension of uh, 
kind of uncertainty and the ability to, if you create a space, do what you want with it, you know, you don't have to go back on his right foot to get the perfect shot off uh, or risk it on a weak foot, like a two star weak foot, he's got a five star, does not matter, four star skills adds that kind of flair to him, plus the flair trades, dribbling, sensational, passing sublime, shooting, I think this video speaks for itself. Pace wise, top speed isn't that great, but as a centre midfielder, even at Cam, it's not that bad. And uh, tackling, he can definitely do that through his aggression, which is very, very good. Overall, this card is absolutely fantastic, and uh, it was a joy to use him in the team. He did outshine many a player in the squads. Uh, Moriences was brilliant, but this man was utter class. Moriences probably got a higher rating because he's more effective in that position. Most of it is sensational. Thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you have enjoyed. Make sure to drop a comment in the comment section below. Anyone else you do want to see reviewed on the channel, I will get round to ASAP. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Like, a comment, subscribe. We'll catch you in the next one.